Today we're going to move some files from a thumb drive to an iPad. To do so, uh, you're going to need a couple things. You're going to need a computer, an iPad, a thumb drive, camera connection kit, the new one, um, which allows you to charge also because you will need power, uh, the power cable, lightning to USB cable, and two apps, Document 6 and Audio Share by Kimatica. And it's a couple bucks in the Apple Store. First, you're going to format the thumb drive um, on your laptop or computer. Here, I'm on a Mac using Disk Utility. Um, and make sure you're formatting for uh, MS-DOS FAT. And this drive is already formatted, but I'm just going to do it again here. Um, erase. And then once this is done, we're going to open the thumb drive up in Finder and create a couple folders. Um, this is to trick the iPad into thinking we're importing images. So uh, first folder is going to be called DCIM. Second folder in that folder is going to be called 100 Apple. And then in that folder, you're going to place your documents. And it could be anything. In this case, we're going to compress a folder full of wave samples. We drag the uh, compressed zip into that 100 Apple folder, and then we rename it. It doesn't really matter what you rename it. Um, I previously watched a tutorial where DSC underscore 999 was what you had to do, but you can do anything. I've tried it. Just make sure the extension is .nef, and then we'll move to the iPad and import that NEF. And you'll plug in your thumb drive into the camera kit adapter, plug it into your iPad, and photos should automatically open up once you do that and ask you what you want to do. And there you will see the raw.nef file that we just created, and we're going to import that. And you can, from here, either keep it or discard it. Uh, I'll just keep this one, I guess. And from here, we'll move on to uh, importing the .nef from your camera roll to document 6. Uh, in this case, we'll hit the plus sign in the bottom right in documents. We'll go to our camera roll, last import, and import this um, file. And in document, what we're going to need documents for is renaming the file. Uh, so hit rename and make sure you um, add .zip at the end of the file. And use .zip. And there you go, there's your sample zip. And you can unzip it in here, but since this is audio and I need it for audio purposes, I'm going to open up Audio Share. And in audio share, we hit the little yellow button on the bottom. That allows us to select the document picker. And we're going to select from locations and choose documents. And navigate to the zip file we just uh, renamed in documents. And once you do that, uh, audio share will automatically ask you if you want to unzip. And you hit yes. And there you go, you have it. Um, sometimes, since it's MS-DOS formatted, it'll add these extra little files that I just tend to delete, like the DS store you see at the top. But. I know you never had a girl quite like me. And there you go, samples imported, ready to use in other music applications.